In this narrative, a girl who is very dissatisfied with her life accidentally gets transported to a parallel universe. This new world is completely different from her original one, and in it, she has everything she ever wished for. If you feel unhappy with your appearance, weight, fitness, or anything else, this story will help you learn how to build confidence instead of feeling insecure. By the end of the video, you might decide whether you would stay in the new universe or return to the real one. The story begins with a girl named Natalie, who is sitting in her living room, engrossed in a TV show. She is completely absorbed in the storyline, enjoying a rare moment of relaxation. Suddenly, her mother walks in from behind and interrupts, saying, Natalie, you need to start working on your body. Watching TV shows all day is pointless. They're just fantasy and won't get you anywhere. Natalie feels a surge of frustration as she hears this, as she dislikes being interrupted and criticized. Time moves on and 25 years pass slowly. Natalie has grown up and now lives alone with her beloved pet dog, Duster. Her life, however, is far from what she had always dreamed of. She finds herself in the worst part of the city, living in a shabby, run-down apartment in an old building. Natalie also has a neighbor, Donnie, who never speaks to her nicely. Despite her challenging surroundings, Natalie is actually the chief architect at a company. However, she works as an accountant and is always shy about her weight and body shape. Her lack of confidence makes it hard for her to stand up for herself, and her co-workers often ask her to do small tasks that aren't part of her job. Natalie is never able to refuse them. In the entire office, Natalie has only two friends. One is Josh, and the other is her assistant, Whitney. Both Josh and Whitney are kind to Natalie, and she feels feels comfortable sharing everything with them. One day, a prominent businessman named Blake visits her office, wanting to hire the company to design a hotel. As the chief architect, Natalie is asked to give a presentation. Feeling extremely nervous about her body shape, she tells Josh that he should handle the presentation instead. However, this time, Josh doesn't listen to her and firmly insists she present, practically pushing her into the conference room. As soon as Natalie enters the room, Blake mistakes her for an office maid and asks her to bring him coffee. Natalie tries to explain that she is actually the chief architect, but her boss subtly signals her to fetch the coffee instead. Reluctantly, Natalie leaves the room to get the coffee. Feeling humiliated, she confides in Josh afterwards, saying, In today's world, looking beautiful is what matters most. Skills don't seem to count for anything anymore. However, Josh did not agree with her. He explained to Natalie that she just needed to trust herself and believe in her skills. After returning to the office, everyone got busy with their own work. Natalie noticed that Josh was looking at her repeatedly. Initially, she felt happy about it, thinking he was finally noticing her. But then she realized he was actually looking at a photo of a model behind her. Feeling disheartened, she confided in her assistant, Whitney. Why do boys always like those thin, model-type girls? What about girls like me with different body shapes? Why does no one ever notice us? Whitney listened sympathetically, understanding Natalie's frustration with society's narrow standards of beauty. It was Friday evening, and Josh was insistent on convincing Natalie and Whitney to join him for a night out on the town. Natalie, already in a sour mood, declined his invitation. However, as Josh walked away, Whitney encouraged Natalie to take a chance and step out of her comfort zone. As Natalie headed home from work, a charming man approached her on the train and asked her out. Natalie, recalling Whitney's words, thought that maybe her friend was right. Perhaps people did notice her. Feeling adventurous, she agreed to meet the man. Unfortunately, her excitement quickly turned to dismay as she soon discovered that he was a thief who made off with her purse. In her attempt to stop him, Natalie collided with a pillar and fell unconscious, unaware that her life was about to take an unexpected turn. As Natalie regained consciousness in the hospital, she was bewildered by her surroundings. Everything seemed unfamiliar and strange. When she finally left the hospital and ventured outside, she was even more perplexed to find that her neighborhood had undergone a remarkable transformation. The once messy and disorganized area was now clean and well-kept. Even her own clothing had been changed, adding to her confusion. Unsure of what had transpired, Natalie made her way home, only to collide with a car. To her surprise, the occupant of the car turned out to be Blake, the same man who had visited her company the previous day. However, this time, Blake's demeanor was markedly different. He approached Natalie in a friendly manner and offered her a ride home. Not only did Blake treat Natalie with kindness, but he also presented her with a bouquet of flowers and shared his phone number before departing. Natalie was astonished by the stark contrast between Blake's behavior the previous day and his actions now. 
As Natalie approached her apartment building, she was in for an even bigger shock. Upon entering her home, she discovered that her entire living space had been transformed. Her once modest apartment had now become spacious and luxurious. She found herself surrounded by expensive branded clothes and shoes, and her beloved pet dog, Duster, was also there. It dawned on Natalie that she had somehow entered an alternate universe where her life was vastly different from the one she knew. The realization hit her hard, and she became convinced that this was not her true reality. Adding to the strangeness of the situation, Natalie's neighbor, Donnie, arrived on the scene. Unlike the Donnie she knew from her original universe, this Donnie was gay and shared a close friendship with Natalie. As they talked, Natalie learned that their relationship in this universe was significantly different and much closer than before. Donnie kindly offered Natalie a ride to her office. On reaching there, Natalie starts telling everything to Whitney, how this universe of hers does not exist and everything is different here. But now Whitney is not talking to Natalie in a better way. And Natalie realizes that in reality, in this universe, Whitney is neither her assistant nor her good friend. But here she is a rival, and both of them do not talk to each other well and often fight. Natalie is now even more confused as Josh comes from behind and greets Natalie. And Natalie finally realizes that there is at least one Josh who is her good friend here, like in her real universe. And Natalie now starts telling him the whole truth that how she is not from this universe and due to an accident, don't know how she reached here and perhaps the version of her might have gone to her universe and now not known what will be the situation there. But now as it was bound to happen, Josh does not believe Natalie's words and says that she is sick and he should talk to a doctor. As Josh and Natalie were deep in conversation, Josh's attention was drawn to a distant figure who appeared to be in distress. He rushed to offer assistance, only to find that it was the model Isabella. Grateful for his help, Isabella invited Josh to dinner, and he eagerly accepted. Natalie, on the other hand, was left bewildered, grappling with a difficult decision. Natalie found herself at a crossroads, contemplating her next move. On the one hand, she had stumbled upon a universe where everyone treated her kindly, and her life seemed much more comfortable and fulfilling. However, she couldn't shake the concern for her counterpart who had likely taken her place in her true universe, facing a starkly different and challenging lifestyle. The superficiality of her current situation weighed on her conscience. Driven by a sense of responsibility and a longing for her authentic life, Natalie fled to the train station, the very place where she had lost consciousness and found herself transported to this new universe. She began striking the same pillar, hoping to trigger a reversal of her interdimensional journey. Despite her desperate attempts, she remained trapped in this unfamiliar reality. Desperate to return to her real universe, Natalie considered jumping in front of a train. However, an officer stopped her, thinking she was trying to harm herself. Natalie needed to call someone to be released, but she had no family nearby. Thankfully, she remembered that Blake had given her his phone number the day before. Natalie called Blake and he came to her aid, getting her released. During their conversation, Natalie mentioned that Blake was kind, unlike the arrogant Blake from her universe. Confused by her words, Blake drove her home. Natalie wondered if her reason for being in this universe was related to Blake, and if getting closer to him might help her return home. Natalie speculated that perhaps Blake was meant to be her destiny in this new universe. She thought that by spending more time with him, she might find a way back. Fortunately, Blake already liked Natalie, and he happily agreed to have dinner with her. They also spent a lot of time together. Natalie had a wonderful time with Blake, and their connection grew stronger as they spent an intimate night together. However, when she woke up the next morning, she was disappointed to find herself still in the same alternate universe. Her hopes of returning to her real world by getting closer to Blake remained unfulfilled. Upon reaching the office, Natalie learned from her colleague, Whitney, that she was expected to give a design presentation during the board meeting that day. Natalie's worries intensified as she realized that her preoccupation with the multiverse in recent days had caused her to neglect her work responsibilities. She felt ill-prepared and anxious about what she would present to the board members. Just in time, Josh came to Natalie's rescue by suggesting that she wanted to surprise everyone with her designs during the board meeting. This gave Natalie extra time to work on her presentation. As soon as she got home, she started creating new designs determined to impress. During dinner, Natalie wondered if her connection with Josh was the reason she couldn't go back to her real universe. Her thoughts were interrupted by Blake, who suddenly arrived and kissed her passionately in front of Josh. Josh was surprised to learn about Natalie and Blake's relationship, and he left feeling hurt that Natalie hadn't shared this with him. The following day, Natalie and Blake visited a coffee shop where they unexpectedly ran into Josh and Isabella. Natalie was surprised to 
to learn that Josh and Isabella had fallen in love and were inviting everyone to Isabella's house. During this encounter, Blake remained preoccupied with his phone, so Natalie took the opportunity to talk to Josh. In their conversation, Josh revealed that he had long harbored romantic feelings for Natalie and had often asked her out, but she had refused him each time. Natalie's curiosity peaked as she wondered why Josh had never expressed his feelings openly. Josh explained that he had repeatedly invited her to spend time together, but she had declined his invitations. As Natalie listened, a realization dawned on her. She remembered that her Josh from her universe had also persistently asked her out, and it was she who had turned him down every time. However, the realization came too late as Josh and Isabella announced their plans to get married the very next day at a nearby church. Natalie's mind raced with thoughts about the potential consequences of Josh's marriage. She feared that if Josh married Isabella, she might never find her way back to her own universe. Feeling overwhelmed, Natalie abruptly left the party in the middle of the night and returned home with Blake. The following morning, Natalie's peaceful slumber was abruptly shattered by the sound of Blake's voice. Overhearing his conversation, she realized with dismay that he had been planning to steal and profit from her designs. This revelation confirmed that the Blake in this universe was just as deceitful as the one in her real world, leading Natalie to cut ties with him. Natalie found herself in a confusing situation, feeling betrayed by Blake's actions and worried about the impending marriage between Josh and Isabella. She feared that if Josh married Isabella, she might never find her way back to her true universe. In a moment of frustration, Natalie confronted Josh in front of everyone, blaming him for not being clear about his feelings for her. She believed that his silence had led to her being stuck in this alternate reality. However, Natalie then realized that her presence in this universe wasn't just about Josh or anyone else. She understood that she was stuck here because she struggled to love and accept herself. Natalie recognized that she had always felt unworthy and lacked confidence, especially about her body image. It dawned on her that perhaps she had entered this universe to learn about her true abilities and to start loving herself unconditionally. As Natalie bid farewell to Josh and departed from the party, an unexpected collision with a divider on her way home rendered her unconscious. Upon opening her eyes, Natalie found herself in a transformed environment environment once again. Emerging from the hospital, she realized with joy that she had returned to her beloved universe, the one she had sorely missed. This time, Natalie felt a sense of contentment and self-acceptance, having recognized her true worth. She embraced her cherished pet dog, grateful for the lessons learned about self-love and valuing herself unconditionally. Natalie also discovered that in this universe, her neighbor Donnie was gay, although he had not yet shared this aspect of his identity with others. She returned to her office and embraced her assistant Whitney, whom she had